What's up, Team Up Guys? Jonathan Buckhouse here, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys an in-depth how to mount your snowboard bindings properly. Now, with mounting bindings, there's a lot of preference that's involved, but there are some guidelines, some rules, some things you should follow, and we're gonna go through all that whole process. I'm gonna mount bindings on my new Birdhouse K2 Tony Hawk Pro Model Snowboard. Still got the stickers on it. This thing is insane! And I'm so excited to, to ride this today. So I gotta put the bindings on it. So I'm gonna mount them for, for me and uh, give, just kind of walk you guys through that whole process. Now before we jump in this video, I wanna make sure you guys know we have Evolution stickers available. If you're a skier, we have one, but for the snowboarders, we have the Evolution stickers. You can throw it on the side of your helmet, let everyone know you're part of Team Hawk House. It's how I do this for a living. It's how I do all my traveling. It's how I make this channel more awesome. So if you guys wanna consider snagging an Evolution sticker, there's a link in the description as well as any of the merch, you know, windbreakers, hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves. It's all linked in the description, guys. If you do snag any of the merch though, tag me on my Instagram and I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs in my vlogs. I do them daily, so check it out and subscribe to this channel. All right, let's, let's mount these bindings. So first things first, every binding has a preference kind of like setup. This one actually has two. So you have your free ride setup and then your freestyle setup. We're gonna go for the freestyle setup because I'm actually gonna take this into the park today. But free ride would be if I wanted to ride the mountain. So it's like I mean put the bindings in these inserts for free ride and then for freestyle, these ones right here. So with that being said, if you were gonna do a powder day, you could shift the whole thing all the way back if you wanted, or if you have a really wide stance, you know, you can go a little wider, or whatever you need to do. But that leads into the most important topic is your stance. Where should your stance be? Now we want our stance to be in a stacked position, basically if we we're gonna do a squat. So if I grab this bar and I was to do a squat, that is where I want my stance the width between my feet to be. So if you have like your wife or your daughter, someone around that you can get in this position, do it, you can measure where your feet are, or you can stand on the snowboard, kind of do the same motion, and then be like, okay, that's where my inserts are. That's how far I want my feet to be spread apart on the snowboard. So once you know the inserts that you're gonna use to match your bindings, we need to talk about your binding angles, because now we gotta select the angle in which we want our foot to be in those inserts. So. Personally, I like a, a positive 12 on my lead foot and a negative 12 on my back foot. It's gonna be hard to tell because these are old bindings, but in here is like a degree. It tells you where every, like 12 degrees, 15 degrees, 20 degrees. Some people, this is where the preference comes in. How far do you want your lead foot to be open? How open do you want to be? Personally, I kind of like to keep my feet kind of straight. So I like, once again, a 12, negative 12, but I know like my buddy Benson rocks at 22 as far forward as possible because he says it helps them really open up. What I don't recommend is ever having your lead foot in a negative degree. And unless you want to be a racer, I don't recommend having both your feet in a positive angle, unless you're like hard booting or anything like that. I would recommend having your back foot at zero if you're riding directional or you're only going in one way. If you want to ride switch, I recommend having your back foot angled a little. So I ride a lot of switch riding, even on this directional snowboard, I'm gonna be taking it switch a little bit. So I want my back foot to be the same angle as my lead foot because I want it to feel the same as I'm going regular when I'm riding switch. Once you get your degrees all worked out, you need to put in your, your screws. Now the way you do it is I always go one, and then I go across from that one. So I'll come down to the bottom over here. So I went from here to here. And then I'm not tightening them 100% down because sometimes you might need to jiggle the binding, whatever, to get the, the board or the screw in. And then also these are inserts that are in the board. When you crank them down, don't go Superman. I have popped an insert and then the screw has just spun around a circle and then it wasn't a good time. So crank them down, but like, don't go crazy. So that's one binding down. The next step is, if you're watching this video, you're probably new to snowboarding, you need to take your snowboard boots and you need to put them in your binding and you wanna tighten them down and see if the boot and the binding are ratcheting correctly or if you need to make any adjustments to your straps like is your foot held in are you bottoming out on the ratchet and i'll show you what that shows, looks like tighten your boots too when you do this but if your ratchet is coming down to here and clicking that means you need to adjust your strap to the side like mine like that's fully tight right there 
I might be able to get, nope, like that's fully tight. I have so many more straps that I can go. You don't want to be clicking the bottom of your ratchet or you don't have your bindings in correctly. So once again, I got like three right there. So these bindings are adjusted for my, my boot. If you want to, you can adjust your forward lean right here with these back pieces. Every binding has this back piece that allows you to add a little bit of lean in your high back that really helps you with carving and then half pipe riding because I don't really ride a lot of half pipe. I don't worry about it. But if you wanted for a lean, this is where you would adjust that. Every binding has a little adjustable screws and ladders and things. So play with your bindings and see what you got. All right. And with that, Team All Cows, that is how I mount my bindings every single time I go snowboard, every time I throw them on. Positive 12, negative 12, bench position on the snowboard, ready to rock. And if you're in the market for bindings, I highly recommend the Clue binding. These are a hybrid step-in binding. They're really awesome. I did a really in-depth review of these bindings. You can check that video out right here. I'm not rocking them because they are a little too big for my feet, but when I get a small pair, I'll be rocking those bindings every single day. So those bindings are linked in the description as well as linked in the description of that video. And with all that being said, Team Elkhouse, thank you so much for mounting bindings with me today. I'm gonna go rip this snowboard now. So as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.